All right, ready? I'm starting. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a bit of a shorter one as my team and I are getting ready to bring Razor's Edge to the Spring 2021 Rage in the Cage competition in Ellysburg, Pennsylvania this upcoming weekend. This year, the competition is hosted by Bloomsburg Area High School and will be held at Knoebel's Amusement Park. While I don't think I'll have any time to enjoy the rides, I am looking forward to competing after over a year of time off. Since I've last showcased Razor's Edge on the channel, there have been a bunch of improvements made to it. The main change in this version of the robot is the battery capacity. At previous events, we've run two battery packs made from three cells each. This spring, we're doubling that to four packs of three cells each. During testing so far, the new electrical system seems to work great, giving us full power for all three minutes of a match and allows for much faster spin-up times. In order to accommodate this massive addition of weight, we've reduced the weight of each side frame by 0.2 pounds and the drum internals by 0.6 pounds. We've also cut weight in the covers by switching from 6061 T6 aluminum to over to Garolite, which is a fiberglass and epoxy composite cured at high pressure. Since the aluminum covers didn't hold up very well to vertical attacks anyways, we're not losing much armor by switching to Garolite. To make space for the additional batteries in this version, we've completely redesigned and replaced the back frame. This was one of the first projects done using the bridge port before it was converted to CNC. This modification allowed us to remove both the steel backplate and the UHMW bumpers that bolted to the back frame as well. The wire management system in the last version of the robot worked well, but could be better, and since it needed to change anyways to accommodate the new batteries, it was redesigned. This new wiring divider was 3D printed out of polycarbonate carbon fiber on my Ender 3 and allows us to route all the wires securely and tightly while packing all three ESCs in with minimal play. Other improvements to the robot include some new front forks and wheelie bars. The front UHMW forks serve two purposes, to lift up and get under other robots, as well as to prevent Razor's Edge from doing front flips after hitting an opponent. The wheelie bars on the back are pretty self-explanatory. These modifications are still in the early prototype stages, so I'm excited to see how they work in battle. That should be all for this quick competition preview. Be sure to check back in with the channel later this month for all the match videos as well as the full event recap. Until then, stay safe, and thanks for watching. Yeah. Oh yeah. Two minutes thirty seconds. <laughs> 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 <laughs>